on the blue side. Right. Vi, I was about to say Vi, instantly banged it. That's the real Ash. question. Kalista for Genji. Senna. Senna's gone. Ash ban is good for Genji. They've taken away Varus. I think Kalista has a must ban now if Varus Senna's down. I'm also scared of Rel. Canyon Rel is crazy good. Canyon Rel took out Damon. T1 ban Zeus' TF. Good. Fake Oriana ban. Classic. I think it must be Kalista, right? There's no way you're going to give them Kalista. Tali Oriana down. Oh, they're trying to get Azir. They're trying to trade Azir for. for for Kalista. So what do we get here? Azir what? We got Poppy on three. Azir Zeri. Azir Maokai. Ah yeah, Maokai's good. They have Kalista North, Kalista Renata here. They have Rel. They have uh, Chovy's. I don't know what does Chovy have here. Something like Ari maybe if he wants to not drop. If they go Kalista North, what do we pick into Kalista North? We have to pick what? Tom Kench? No, we can't. Uh. What does Gen G do here? Kalista North is good. They could play Rel. Like I said, there's no Poppy availability. They're going to do Corky. Why did I even doubt it? Zyra Khan, Lucian, Nomi, Jinx, Thresh. Maybe they pick top here, actually. Rek'Sai? Don't pick Draven. Oh, Kuma Draven game one. Straight into the Kalista. Jesus. All right. I mean, they're going to have to ban supports here. Do you ban Draven Brown? No. What do you ban? Draven Thresh? Uh, what supports do you take? away what can they play draven alistar draven rel i feel like it's annoying because of the maokai like what supports do you ban maybe you ban tops they ban jace they're trying to stop the blinds because they have poke with corky right renata no i don't think they'll ban i think renata ban is okay they did it i don't think renata ban is that good but sure draven renata mega strong but nautilus normally good into that with kalista what about blitzcrank they're playing corky kalista i wonder if carrier is thinking about a blitzcrank game next top ban will be telling they could take away keen's cassante it's his best blind Take away Zinz out. Is this Maokai a flex? Why are they banning tops? Alistar. Are they going to pick Kassante here? Flex Maokai support and look for Poppy on five? No, they're just going to double flex Poppy Maokai on four. Okay. I don't think he'll go Rek'Sai. Oh, Rumble's open. I forgot about Rumble. That's Keen. I mean, Rumble with Corky is... I mean, double Valk, I guess. A double, double equalizer. And the other pick here Good into Draven, I guess. He's a mobile. Like a they need some engage. They need some follow-up with Nort. They need Jarvan. Lee Sin is okay. Diego, Diego uh, I think they're lacking a bit of engage. But so it must be Poppy Jungle, Maokai support. They must be last picking top here. What does Zeus have into Rumble? You can't play Poppy top here. He's going to play Nar, Aatrox. I don't know what does he have into, into Rumble. Aatrox, Zeus, Aatrox, classic. Wow, T1 have gone back to Aatrox. It's been a while since Zeus picked it. I mean, look at Zeus' Aatrox, right? 16 games of Aatrox. 90% win rate. He loves Aatrox, but it's been a while since he played it. See that? Last time he played it was the regular season. I'm surprised he's busting it out. Wait, it's Poppy. Poppy support. Wait, if, if Nautilus hooks Poppy and, and Poppy W's, can Nautilus auto attack root or is he too far away because of the W? So it can kind of work, right? Works into both, I guess. He just needs a W, the North hook. Mm. Who do you think doing this game? Mm. I prefer Genji comp game one. I think Genji wins game one. I think Genji comp is really strong against Raven. I think Poppy Draven is not going to do much against Rumble Corky. I think Genji have poke, they have range, they have pushing lanes, and their engage is better. Poppy Maokai is not that good engaged with next to Aatrox. But let's see. Drafts on everything. But I would favor Genji here. Enjoy the video, but make sure you've liked and you've subscribed. See you later. Uh, They're gonna lane swap? Nah, no way would they lane swap with Aatrox Rumble. They will always go Lethality. <laughs> yeah, the championship ring, you see that? Winner gets an LCK championship ring. Is Genji looking for some kind of early game up here? First strike for Corky is plus five, plus two, seven. I mean, what, what, well, a good pathing from Canyon here would be Raptors, Red, Crux into invade, right? With Kalista bot push with Nautilus early. So owner's covering off the early invade, I think. He's also warded for it too. So I think he's scared of the invade. I think it's fine to play topside. Aatrox Rumble, two carry temps. Who gets bot prio in this lane? Wait, he does Raptors into invade. Raptors into invade. Oh, he sees him as well. Sneaky Canyon tries to split the map there. Raptors into blue, split the map bot side. Well, Maokai's top. Owner's covered it off. Owner sees him leaving his jungle. Oh, Faker took E second there because he knew Chovy has no W, so he can't dodge out of his Q, uh, his W, so he just takes E for the shield for a better trade. So look at the bot push Gen G had. This was the idea by Canyon. If he took this and this, he'd be level 3, stop owner from entering bot. Owner has to take his top camps, they would be diving bots right now. But luckily, owner started bot side, so he actually covered it off with the ward as well. He read the play. I think he definitely read the play, right? You can see with his wards. The second one came down when he saw him run into river. 
So well played by both teams already. Otherwise, T1's bot lane would be dead right now. Really nice ward by Keen. So Malkai's full cleared. He's basing and running bot. He needs to do his Grom to get level 4. There's still a crab up on bot side for him. Canyon skipped Krux as well, so he's also missing a camp to level up. Ooh, Owner is looking for an invade on his Raptor respawn. Q smite. Big steal by Owner there. Cover off his Krux. Take bot crab. Grabs are spawning though. He needs to be careful of Viego just contesting his Raptor respawn. So what Viego can do is just wait for this spawn, take his Raptors. He has a ward in it as well and then just play for grabs. So there's a chance that this doesn't matter. So we'll see what Owner does. See if he tries to cover this. Boy, Ignite from Keen. This wave sucks. This wave is bad. That wave is bad. Keen's already winning top. Oh, was on vision. Three grubs over to Genji already. Oh, Guma is close to dying there. If that hook hit. They're all winning. Okay, well, no flash on Nolt. Nice auto weaving by Guma. He saved the heal as well. He needs to be careful of the hook coming up again. And his mana's low. He'll level up though, so once he levels up, that'll sustain a little bit better. No flash on Nolt means that maybe they're going to look for a bot play here at T1. Oh, Zeus. Wants to crash his wave. Keen might all in him to stop it, but now nah, maybe. Oh, he is going to all in him to stop it. Good movement by Keen. I mean, his jungler's topside, right? Keen can just play like an absolute animal. Oh, what a sidestep by Zeus! Just sidesteps it. If you got hit by that sun, I think he's dead. What a what a clean dodge. That's Viego flash as well. Maybe so Zeus is going to lose another top wave. He's going to stay, right actually. Yo, that null Zeus magic that he bought early is doing God's work for him. Well. So T1 are going to get Drake for that. Top situation is bad, though. Owner's going to have to get up here. Oh, the tower shot. Oh, he shielded it. It's a cannon wave, but Keen's going to freeze it in base, maybe. Oh, Keen pulled the wave, so it pushes. So making this type of play it's rough for Zeus, really rough. They're swapping. Why are they swapping? I mean, Drake's down, I get it, but I wonder if they're scared of Nautilus dying to their bot 3v3 on Maokai 6, and they want to punish Aatrox on the push-out. Here comes the punish. Does it work? He might hex flash behind him. No, he's just going to run straight at him. Zeus, no flash, no world ender. Maybe no way to get out of this one. As he gets what a swap by Genji. Oh, what a swap. What a smart swap. Keen pulls the wave. So it pushes into Genji. He bases same time, runs out mid, doesn't show, and then Aatrox tries to push it out. They collapse on him and kill him. No flash, no. They also put Corky bot, I think, because Rumble is down. So he can't Rumble the wave, but Corky can just rocket it from a distance. Whereas obviously Rumble's a melee champ, right? So he can't farm it. Wow, they're they're min-maxing everything. Are you kidding? I wouldn't be surprised if they swap back soon. I mean, Kalista should just run bot now, I think. First strike. Nah, just first strike. Plus 31, hell yeah. Looking to commit onto There's Baker, no kill here. He's Azir, well, they're so not swapping back. Maybe it's because Grubs are spawning. They're pinging the Grubs. I wonder if they just want to fight Grubs. Chobi has TP. He's just milking golds from his first strike. Right now with that lane yeah, Genji's macro is crazy so far. Bots pushed. So it's crazy. Bots pushed out. Kalista runs back top. She's going to push the next top wave. Rumble's going to shadow Corky. They're going to force Grubs. Get six Grubs. And if Keen, Keen's going to stay mid. And Keen's basically saying, if they fight Grubs, I'm there. If they don't, I'm going to run bot. But right now, I'm fine. So now you see Keen's going to run bot. Because he knows they're not going to contest. They already got vision. Top's pushed out. Corky's safe. And now he can go catch bot. Genji's playing the map so fucking well. Lost three melees just so he can make sure his team has push. Good. Because obviously the Genji... The Nautilus is a little bit vulnerable. Like By the way, we are All that matters now is Draven. When does Draven get his kill? And does Draven get his kill? I'm surprised so Genji are not swapping back you know, yet. The I think they should push out this wave and swap back. Or next wave and swap back. Drake's spawning. They need to get bot lane down. It's not cannon, so one more wave is fine. Genji should, on paper, the theory here is Pace pushes out top quick, bases, runs through bot. Uh, Chobi catches a wave or two, bases package, go towards Drake, Drake fight, big Drake fight, and try and get Draven stacks off. And Keen can stay bot. Or he can base and go mid again, right? And if Aatrox pushes, he catches. If Aatrox bases, he goes to Drake. Okay, Chobi greeted his base there. You saw he cancelled it. 
they're coming through. Trophy's just gonna push this wave in base, I guess. He should have taken the base, I think. He's being a bit greedy here, but it's fine. There's still 40 seconds. Okay, he's gonna run out top and catch. There's 30 seconds still Drake. Keen's gonna catch a wave. Does he run mid after this wave or does he push one more? Because the dragon fight's gonna happen. And Aatrox has TP. Okay, he just catches one wave and goes mid. Alright. Genji set up is really good. Zeus has TP so he can cheat it and go top. I wouldn't be surprised if T1 just give this. But if T1, every time I say they're probably gonna give, they just fight it. The Genji's theory is so good, like they are applying. Yeah, it's, it's impossible to fight that, I think. They're too strong. They're way too strong. Aatrox gets a plate, maybe. Wow, Viego spiking. I think Maokai should have uh, Night Sour in base soon as well, really cheap. Azir can get blue. Supports are roaming. Poppy's trying to cover some kind of top plate. Maybe he thinks Viego and Nolte are threatening a dive. Kalista got her item spike and she's running out top. Herald spawning. Yeah, Keen's playing this game well because he's not got TP, but he's always on the objective. So, I think again, maybe he needs to go mid this time. Last time he went top when Drake was 35, 40 seconds. Ah, Chovy will go bot and Rum will go mid. Mm, yeah, nice. Lane assignments from Gen.G are crazy. First strike. Plus 31. It is already starting. I mean... I, I suppose Whoa, what if a you're a T1 fan, you can be happy. Oh my god, Chovy, is he fucking here? hacking? Uh, because Yo, Mott check his PC for him, Mott. But he's already making an Indian's coming down Rumble. too. And already. Oh, yeah, I mean, the Equalizer comes down, and now Faker, he's gonna have to dash away. Well, Faker. Dodges that big one. But now he's out of I think, why the fuck is Gen G bot? It's crazy, no? Well. Wait, Guma's dead, maybe? Oh, he just lived. Wait, Gen G, it's crazy. I didn't look at the map for one second. I thought they were setting up for Drake, uh, for Herald. Look at this triple ward topside. How is Rumble bot? Oh my god, now there's double TP bot. This could be good for T1, actually. Gen G's in trouble here. Keen's gonna play for the turn. That's a kill for Azir, maybe. Yeah, Keen wasted his flash. Oh, the Draven stacks! What a shot from Goma! Jesus! Maokai was gonna cover that and give it to his ear. What a shot! 983. Jesus. How many stacks did he have? 350? Oh, Corky got first tower top, but Zayus replies. That's huge for T1. The map was bleeding in plates and objectives. Yeah, Genji overstayed the bot play. Trying to get the tower. They have six grubs. TP behind from Zayus was good. Tops pushed out. Owners collapsing. And this is a weak side play from Genji, right? They're making two plays at the same time. Jungle support on Herald and they're solo in Sieging Bot. This Corky is getting really strong though. Like Chovy is doing his thing where he's... Look, look at the gold. It wasn't huge. They wasted double TP. Bro, what do you want about? Drafen just cashed out 900 gold. Two TPs for 900 gold? Yo, I would take that any day. Shield bow for Draven. Draven is strong. Alright, they have package. The thing with this fight here, I think again, T1's probably gonna fight it because they're T1. But that Draven looks vulnerable in this fight. Look at Corky's items. What in the fuck is that? Poppy ult missed. And Maokai ult down. And this is not fightable for T1. Surely they don't take this. This is horrible to fight. This is horrible to fight. Don't try it. If Poppy ult hits and they could take the river, it would be fine. But they use Poppy ult. It misses. They use Maokai ult. They have no follow-up. It's pointless. They couldn't cross map top either. They're just... Herald mid. Carry has lock it. Oh, shit! I didn't even know you could do that. He's dead, though. I never thought about that. Azir ult to stop the Herald. Well, they lost the tower and Faker died. So it was cool, but it wasn't really worth it. Nice ult by Faker. But he, he looked a little bit delirious or something after that. because Or dizzy. Like, he just walks into Nautilus. Was it the Rumble ult that forced him there? Yeah, it was a bit the Rumble ult. It was a really good Rumble ult. I'm surprised he didn't just WE backwards. But I guess he wants to hold the tower. Baron's up. I mean... Chovy is just this like exponentially growing hyper carry that just constantly is power farming the game away. Look at him. 221. Two items. Can he get Lost Chapter going towards Malignans? Ooh, Canyon. Ooh, it's a horror. Carry is dead, maybe. Or is he? Or is he? Zeus is here. 
the support. That is nice TP from Zeus saved him. Chobi TP as well. They got Paces Cleanse. Now the team's committing. There's no... Like, this is what teams in the LCK are afraid of, I think. The top teams, you know. You take a fight and the game breaks. Once the game's broken, you can never really get control again, right? Genji haven't broken the game yet. The economy of T1 is fine. The map state's okay. They're one for one on side towers. Mid tower's dead. Doesn't matter. They get top tower, so it's even on sides. The game is, is fine. I wonder how much work Zeus can do in these fights. Because Genji CC is not that good. A lot of their CC will be used on Faker and Guma, right? It's only really maybe Viego stun or like a Nautilus auto attack that he has. You know, Zeus isn't against that much CC. They just have a lot of damage. So he'll have uptime. Is T1 going to opt into this dragon fight? I like what Lehens is constantly doing. Just perma warding top side, base, run out bot side. He's just doing this on cooldown. Also, this triple ward setup he had, he had one, two, three, I think, when they were playing for Herald was crazy. T1's going to have to take this, but they don't have any space. They have one choke. They're going to have to Maokai ult their way through this or something, because there's no way they're going to get control of this river. Or pop ult someone. Where's the Maokai ult? Zeus on the flank. Nice dash from Faker. Dodged a lot of the poke. The equalizer is not that good. It gets the poppy, but the carries are still healthy. T1 still fine to fight this, I think. But they have no Maokai ult. They're going to call it off. Carrier just gets one shot. Man, T1 have this to work with in fights. This entrance, that's it. They can't go through mid. They can't go through bot. Ooh, Lehens is kind of caught here. He has flash, though. Oh, Faker has no dash. He might... Might have to flash here, Faker. Oh, Guma! Uh, Zeus, sorry. No, he's dead. He uh, it's over. They're gonna get Nash. They're gonna get Nash. He Q flashes, but he can't auto attack. If he could profane Hydra auto, he would have one shot Kalista. Man, Genji just. They're just suffocating T1. They can't. They can't get in. They can't move. They can't play. Oh, Chobi's dead. But it doesn't matter, I think. Maybe. Kuma's dead. Carrier's dead. Gen G is just... Draven just got IE, but... Did Guma sell his boots for IE? Are you serious? He did it again? Is he really playing no boots fucking Draven again? So, owner flashes in. I mean, Faker ran away by the time he goes in. Oh, it's unlucky Guma didn't get the kill. Wait, T1 are rushing Baron. What? Ah, uh, they're all gonna get wiped here. I love T1 Barons, but this is... T1's gonna get wiped. And maybe relying on Carrier to knock some people away, but now he's just trying to keep them out of this one. Keen is not in the pit. Lehen's they got it. They need to run. They need to run for their lives. The They're just trying to get out of this one. Gen G should be able to clean up some as a kill will go towards base. Canyon looking for a bit more. Ooh, Faker and Zeus want to fight back a bit here, but... Yeah, I think they're all dead. Gonna shut these two down. Might just be able to not the easiest targets with the Atrox. Maybe worse. Here, but eventually they have two bucks. Will fall. And they're looking for a bit more. Keen looking Can for they get the out? dive even. I mean, how far are they going to go on this one? I mean, they really want to take away all the Baron no. buffs here. As oh, yes, Flash. Out of Faker, and the is gonna go Faker's down, cooking, though. No Sterex on that Diego. Uh, Faker's hard no. cooking. Maybe he can and EQ on that Diego. And Faker looks Whoa. to take him out. Does get the That's kill big kills for his ear. And they have Baron. Way overextended that one. They might the lose top tier two and mid tier two. But to be honest, actually they can hold. They had to make that play. If they didn't get that play, the game was over. Clutch play by T1. Actually, I doubted that a lot, that Baron play. I thought they were all fucked in that pit. But Zeus and Faker escape, and Keria somehow is getting a base off over here. Faker's strong. Soul's in 40, though. Faker's not 16. Chobi is. Oh, can you, uh, Zeus? Uh, playing like a psycho. You know, is, is T1 going to pull the trigger on this dragon fight? Whatever he can. Uh, How do they get space to work with? Carrier has Nash, maybe they can buff midwaves. They can't. Chovy's basing for package. River, so let's see Here they go again. T1 no flash Draven, no flashes here. Package Corky and Rumbled. I mean, I mean, oh, T1, I don't know if this is fightable, man. This looks horrible. Maybe this is... It's a 5v4. Canyon keeps it least. Doesn't get oh, the owner chance. And the equalizer is beautiful once again. Guma getting zoomed in They've on. They've just been away. forced Black into this choke. Oh, oh, he stole it. <laughs> he stole it. <laughs> Wait, that's actually huge. Two for zero, zero for two, but they stole the Drake. Man, these team fights are not great for T1. The fact that they're holding on is already impressive in itself.
Uh, okay, gonna get in on to Pace, and he's just backing. What? Guma just got 1.2k. Pace was in the shop. Pace was in the shop. Actually, it's such a mind game. No one fake redashes on you. Do you flash? Oh, they're stepping up a bit here. Tio need to back off. Chad, I forgot the classic. I forgot the classic. The suit jacket for the finals. Trying to do something My bad, here. I forgot. To to Sorry, I didn't rock up with the right, right attire. There. there we go. I'm not dressed up as a lawyer. Shut up. It's only a 3k gold deficit, but they're getting caught here. Oh my god, that rumble ult. Jesus. Bro, this rumble is stopping T1's entrance every time. Like the rockets and the rumble ult is just on point every time. It's impossible to walk up. I think Faker, you can see he's building some magic resist to try and stop the rockets and get through the rumble ult. He just bought Spear of Shojin. T1 is trying to hold the push. Because they know that they can rush Baron here. Because owner's dead. Karia now being tipped away as yeah, Karia has flash. Oh, maybe Lehens is dead here. Oh, Kalista ult. Karia bases and runs out of base, refreshes his wards. You know, Guma is really strong. And so is Faker. Like, T1 has damage. They just don't have... They have Maokai ult to try and get them space. I think this Poppy pick is doing nothing. And I know Zeus is 0-4, but he has got pretty high damage. Are they just going to rush the Baron again? They're doing the same thing again. Just rush Baron, flash out. This time around, Keen is here. T1. Oh, he poppy ulted the Viego. That's all that matters. They got the Baron. Everyone flashes out. Can you get out of the pit is the real question. Zeus desperate. He is going to dash over the wall. And owner will be Uh, owner should have flashed earlier. Yo, T1 are fucking thieves. They're thieves. How are they getting away with these Barons? We can't win 5v5s. But the second your support base is for wards or you drop tempo for three seconds, we rush Baron at the back of the pit. We get it and we flash out. And now what are you going to do? We have Poppy ult to stop your jungler every time. They're going to lose soul, but it doesn't matter. Fuck the soul. Soul on what? They have Rumble Corky. Fuck the soul. I think they should have flashed out here with owner. Because then maybe they could fight the soul. Fuck the soul. Doesn't matter. Bro. If you get Baron and drop the soul and it's clouds, it doesn't matter. Maybe they're a bit slow to this. I don't know why Faker was doing Grump. The gold will even up. Like, T1, I don't know how the fuck they're still in this game. They are making miracles. Like, props to Gen G. The way they set up fights, their objective control, their gameplay is clean. But T1 is like, T1's volatility in staying in the game is crazy. Just flip Baron twice and we'll hold. One was a flip, one wasn't. And we'll just stay in the game. It's crazy to me. Feels like T1's rolling dice and Gen G is just playing by the book and T1's rolling sixes twice. And that's the only reason they're in the game. Guma boots, fuck boots. He don't need boots. Guma always sells his boots for item. I don't know why, but every single time Guma has an item, he sells his boots for it on Draven. We've already seen Only this on Draven, though. But I think he should sell his pink you for one, one tier one boots, though. No? Tiona getting some big soul. items. Like, look at this. That's all damage on Draven into Kalista, who only has, like, who. So Draven's ahead. head. They're gonna have Rabadons on Azir soon. This, normal, this um, Negatron is to avoid a lot of the Corky folk. Zeus is four. Owners. Not lucid, you know, like this elder fight might be a lot closer than you think. It just depends on if Faker has Rabadons before it. I think he might have it in base here. He has Abyssal or Rabadons. Watch Faker items. Oh my god, that is here is strong. He's even with Corky. Oh, they're TPing on Chovy. This is a huge play for T1. Chovy, big shutdown. Owner's caught though. Lands might die now. They have Kalista ult. One for one. No and objective. Chobi lost his flash. That ward. One for one trade, Who put that ward? It's now, a shutdown so for Azir, right? Azir's power really farming that Abyssal Mask. Is Abyssal Mask really the buy? Maybe Banshee's better, no? Actually, maybe Abyssal Mask is good. They do have Rumble Corky. Elder in two. Game will be decided on Elder. Could come down to the Baron as well. Faker has Abyssal. There's no real TP threat. They have a Corky. I think Genji's paranoid about it. What good flash. His owner's dead, though. Oh, he healed. They lived through that. Oh, Lance went back in. Whoa, Faker. He's fucking parkour. Stop watch by Keen. Can they peel for him? No flash. Jesus Christ, that flash from Guma. 
to survive. Denji, if that flash came out any later, he was dead. Really in this if Kuma didn't flash in that Bolt Assault, it would have propped and he would be dead. The Baron's important, but it doesn't matter. You see what I'm saying? It's 10 seconds on Elder. T1 can... They don't have TP. So if Genji had TP here, they could play through top and try and threaten some kind of backdoor. But now T1 have control of the river, which is important. They need control, and they have a tower as well. They're dropping it. They're so scared of Genji's package. Wow. Look at Zeus. Zeus loves his flanks. He loves his flanks. Zeus is super caught right now. They're marking the flank really well. He's dead. He's dead. Oh boy. Zeus got caught on the side. On the side. Can they win this 4v5? They need a poppy ult of a lifetime if they want to win this fight. No flash. Draymond's dead. Yeah, well played by Genji. Faker! What the fuck? He just killed four of them! What? What? What in the hell? How the fuck did he do that? He just saved the whole game! What? Four of them? Four of them? What? You shall not pass! He dashes into them for the shield and then flashes back so he can maximize the autos. Where's the poppy ult? It's on cooldown. Who's gonna get the elder? Oh no! He doesn't get it! He doesn't get it! Maybe the miracle's up for T1. Guma's burning. Faker's burning. Faker made the play of the year. But the smite is all that matters. Genji close it out. Nice try. Nice try. Nice try. CF ban. Good. First pick Kalista or Varus? Kalista. Well, wow, they're going to get Varus. Varus Talia was pretty good here, I think. They're going to go Varus Talia. Varus Vi is also good. I'm a bit scared of Talia or Vi here. Which one do you take? I think Vi because you can go Ari, right? If you go Talia, you can go Zin. I mean, they have Talia Vi if they want it. They have Renata lane. Do they play against North? They have a North lane, but they might play against Brown. They have a Rek'Sai. Oh, Faker, he's gonna go Nico. They're gonna flex it. Nico flex is good. Oh wait, North is banned. Nico is here. It's not even a flex. They're just giving it away. We're playing Kalista Nico bot. What are you gonna do about it? What are they gonna do about it? I think this Rel's going jungle. They could pick Corky here again, or they can drop mid and play for a support here. What support you going for? It is gonna work. They should ban Nocturne. They should ban Nocturne for sure. And the Nocturne Rumble here would go crazy. Rumble Vi would go as well. T1 ban the Rumble. They're scared of them picking it on four or what? I do think Nocturne's good. Jarvan's good. Any kind of engage is good. Lee Sin ban. They're not picking Jace on four, right? I feel like they're gonna pick Jace on four. I would ban Jace. I think they should do Zin's out now. Oh, any support? Jesus. I didn't expect that. I think they should have taken away Zin's out and just killed the flex and counter pick top. I think this gives a really good draft here where they can pick Zin's out really easily. Zin's out's good against their champs. I think Nocturne was good as well, but Zin's out. Owner Zin's out. I like it. Are they gonna last pick Jax maybe into Zin's out? Or are they gonna put. Wait, no, they can't. What am I saying? They can't pick, they can't pick Jax. They're gonna, they're gonna pick Aatrox, no? Why are you saying Jack's open chat? You completely baited me. They have they have any rel. It's not any top, is it? It's just Aatrox, isn't it? Or Narya. Or Rek'Sai, yeah. All right. I'm surprised they're going any support. Does any support get pushed with Varus into Nico? Maybe it does. It gives them follow-up engage with rel. You could have gone Rakan because Rakan rel is mega good together, but obviously then you're losing lane a bit too hard. So I think the Annie makes sense. They needed a range support with engage, basically. I guess Annie fits it. I think uh, T1's mid jungle is stronger. Top is whatever. Rek'Sai can proxy. It's gonna be mid to bot. It's gonna be a lot of mid to bot. I think T1's draft is much better than it was in game one. I would say that they're gonna win this game and it's gonna go 1 1. My guess. My guess is this is 1 1. Alright, this game better deliver. T1 fighting. I just wonder who gets bot push. That's pretty big bot push. God, that matchup is so annoying, isn't it? Aesol just walks past the wave and does that. Because if, if T1 didn't get bot push, right, they would have three losing lanes. 
But uh, looks like Rel's pathing away from bot, so I actually don't know if they get bot push or not. I wonder if they're just giving on purpose. Bot dive is a threat. Look at this stack. Yo, Faker is getting destroyed in this lane. This already on Soul is destroying him. Faker needs to base soon. On the early insult doesn't necessarily have crazy threat at level three, but I mean, definitely doing a good job of chipping away. What's weaving in these queues so fucking? It's brutal. Chobi's TP back, Faker's TP back. Items are same, so it's not the end of the world. Yo, Chobi is fucking locked in, and he's checking for comet procs in bushes. So they have a lot of this bot, bot push, but they might be dead here. Guma's kiting into the bush. Can oh, what? The damage was crazy. Carrier wants to flash Q, but he can live if he just runs. He's gonna get flipped here. As now the charge on forward. He's really would love to take this oh, Carrier was fake pressuring the kill, but Canyon didn't flinch to it. He has to flash, maybe. Never mind. He just humiliated him. Like he was playing so cocky that he almost died from escaping, but then he played even more cocky, so he escaped from dying. Oh, Faker's not six. I think Chovy ulted there, yeah. Maybe he saw uh, the Nico coming. Just wants the ult. Clear out those and get I also see already on Soul ult used no there on the Faker, but for poke. Just chunk him out a bit. So, game check. Again. Mid is rough. And it's for stacks, yeah, obviously, but it also helps chunk. What impact can game check. Mid is rough, but he's holding on. Top is down in CS, but it's not the end of the world. It's Ruby Crystal Central. But bot is winning, and, uh, and T1 needs to win through bot. The they need to start stacking Drakes as well. They have Sin Zhao. They need to do Krugs into Drake well. starts. Chobi has so much mid push. It's on. Uh, what, what is happening? Faker just took a base. Free base for Faker though, considering already on Souls roaming and carrying the map a bit. Like, why the fuck is already on Soul here? It doesn't make sense. I, I don't blame Owner for losing his pink. Um, I think Faker Perry will start control mid here because Chobi used all his time to roam uh, down and uh, contest wards, but no Faker took a reset. Not a lot of control they require. So Faker has base advantage. To roam down there, keep them safe. But it still looks like and just yeah, Chobi, I think, will start to lose the push now. Here comes the Drake start. What is Carrier doing? And as you channel, you are He's sitting on a ward as a minion. <laughs> Jesus, that wave just got one tap. Procs the Halo Blade so he can clear the wave quicker. Knight's Val on Rel. Owner's looking for bot camps. Are they going to look for a dive here? Now Pays, Pays is by himself. Zinzao stacking his Q. Perfect. Good job. Nice cleanse, they say, but you're going I love die. it when Zinzao pre-stacks Q on, on the dive. The I hate Zinzao's dive without the pre-stack Q. Absolutely bannable. Yeah, Keen can just proxy and take plates. You might be able to, or you might be this matchup looks really annoying for Kasante. He wants winning really hard through bot though. What is Guma waiting for in base? Another Dirk? Jesus. He's just playing no boots. Kalista Q max full of which one's the real Zinzao? There's three of them. All right, Faker's got a bit more control. I would love to see T1 try to blow this already on flash. Any kind of shuffle play, even fake pressuring this already on Soul's flash down will just drop so much mid prior for, for Genji. 1.2k gold up on AD. But uh, Genji's covering mid really well. They've got these little wards. One on the entrance here, one on the over the one dragon pit. They didn't see it with the sweeper yet, T1. Faker has sweeper as well. I think he wants to sweep some vision out, try and help his jungler find angles mid. He can maybe get his flash here, Faker. He plays really far up. Canyon's just perma covering. It's crazy how Nothing's right, happening, but if either of these teams were worse, a lot would happen. Here for a you know, a like Orion and Soul would be dead by now. Bot would have been yeah, dove in game one instantly it's from really the pathing like difference. Really wants to fight this one just you know, yet. nothing's uh, happening because every team's covering the play well. But, um, it but isn't really the fact that yeah, this, this Orion and Soul needs to be really careful. If they knew Rel was on grub <laughs> Grubbies here, <laughs> I think that bot lane would be getting a dive because they know TP situation. Swiftest boots on the Kalista. I'm worried about those wards and keen TP because Zayus just TP top right. So T1 just lost their double TP and Keen's TP is up. So their bot lane needs to be careful on the push on next Drake. The gameplay is simple. They need to keep track of that TP timer, T1. Does he have boots? No, he doesn't. He doesn't go boots. He just goes Amptor and Ruby. Holy. He has upgraded ult. He's not level 11, though. Since I was on top, he needs to clear to bot here, I think. He's going to do Grump after blue, and he's going to run bot, or he's going to base and run bot with Sundered Sky. Okay, so Keen TP top. That's big. They see Rek'Sai TP situation. That Rek'Sai is strong. Oh my god. I don't think Zayus can do anything to him. Sundered Sky, magical footwear. Since coming out of base, Faker is a bit down on items. Oh, carrier. 
little play here. Lahans is going to get the stun he's off. He's fine. Now he's just on Lahans the has the flash. As Fate's Call is going to be used to try to get on top of him. Lahans will flash away, of course, to try to survive. And Jesus, now Trovi is really just going. Number here to Faker, who has to flash away himself. Big Faker's going to die. Trovi, picks up the, kill, but now the comments. Oh, what a play by Ono. The ult W to, to execute. Ult's going to land on the Keen, but it's Lethality. Kalista, there's no real damage on this guy. as Sunfire. And is taking quite a while to go down. Slowly stacking through his health bar. Big fight for T1. That should net them Dragon. Now if Hextech Soul comes in, T1 are so lucky. If this is Hextech Soul, that is mind-blowing. Infernal Mountain Hextech, really? Okay. Ocean. Okay, so kills on to Guma. Ooh, Zavis might be getting dope here. He can't even get the W off. What? Did he not have W or just just can't get it off, I guess? That chain CC was crazy. Oh, he should just play safe. Oh, just play safe next time, bro. What are you doing? Next play is Herald, obviously. So Carrier kind of gets caught here, but not really because they have Kalista ult, so they can never really commit to NG. But then they use a Kalista ult aggressively because they realize already on split, right? And he loses flash, and he has no flash. I think owner carries this fight, though. W onto Zinzao, ease on him. Uh, onto Orinus ult, Q, flash, knock up. Here, Canyon Q flashes the peel, but he R W, so he kills him with spells, doesn't need the auto. T1 just had the better team and then Kalista yeah, damage was really low here, no? Like, that was a little unfortunate. Can't do damage. And you know, flash still as well. T1, T1 just got Herald. Top dive, maybe. Zeus needs to be... I think he's dead. Faker has TP, but... Oh, he sidestepped the Q. Maybe he's dead anyway. Zeus is getting caught so much. Herald, though. I think Kerry is going to try and sneak and clear this top wave, but I don't know if Genji can keep pushing. Chovy has no TP. They should get this bot tier too easy. Yeah, it works for T1, but Zeus died, right? Owner is... Oh my god, Owner's griefing. He tried to take the Herald. I mean, he oh, they have a tower. Now. He does have some support. He's got an ult himself for the rest of Oh my god, Faker needs to hit the ult of his life if he wants down. to peel this. Oh, he's just going to leave him. 07, nice buddy. Barris ult hits, but I think he's fine. Quite a lot, but he is oh, they're turning this Nico! Huge play from Carrier. Keen lives on one. Big ult. With that upgraded ultimate, is going to always Chovy be is absolutely frying. And is going to that should have been a two for two I mean, there, but like Keen just lives. He tries to drive the Herald out there. But sometimes you gotta set out there. I missed it. Carrier doesn't have flash. They have Kalisto, but they can't use it to throw him in because he'll just die. Oh, the Proto Belt was clean there. Now he has to get Kalisto. I mean, they still have any flash ult. They don't have Rel ult, but they have Rel Q flash. Can follow up. Guma damage. I mean, he's Lethality Kalista, right? Where is the damage? Lethality Kalista is really burst heavy, right? But I just, I don't like Lethality Kalista. I just hate it. I just don't know who kills Keen. It's on Faker, really. But Faker needs a lot of time. So Genji denied the soul point. And it's already on soul. It's getting absolutely feeded. Chovy's becoming a fucking monster. Two items on Rel. Since I was lacking behind a little bit. I think he's building... Is he building Sterex or what? Cleaver? Maybe he's building Black Cleaver, actually. Maybe he's, he's probably building Cleaver, right? 251 sex. He needs it versus that Rek'Sai with Lethality Champs. Chovy's catching bot level 14 as here. Three minutes till Drake. Carrier gets his Edge of Night. Carrier has flash now. I mean, Annie and Nico are both level 8. They're going to flash in and get one shot, but the Nico has Kalistals, right? There's Black Cleaver on Owner, so two items matched in jungle. Top items are quite similar despite Zeus getting caught. And Faker has Leandris Nashers now. So here comes the Baron Vision contest. Carrier had to use heal there for move speed to dodge the stun. Oh, Keen knocks him up on the dash. Faker is in big trouble. Zeus might have to TP on the tower. Oh, he, he, he can't push through the, in the unstoppable. He's going to die here, Faker. Wait, they caught... They caught Varus. How did they catch Varus? EQ, where is it? Oh, he just gets the Aurelion Soul. Doesn't even have to... What a fight from Carrier. That was such a good target selection. Just gets the Orion Soul on the tip of it. The Flash Proto Belt ult was insane. That should be Baron for T1. Canyon's alive though, and he has Smite and Flash, and he's playing Rel. They have Kalista E, but she's Lethality. She won't get that many stacks. They need to find this Rel. They need to find this Rel. This is like a game of fucking hide and seek. They need to get Rel. 
Kenyon can steal this easily. Oh, just cancelled on the jump. Guma so low HP. Oh god! Oh, no, no smite. That was close. What a flank by Carrier. What a flank. No flashing around Soul. Instantly got him. Zeus had Q3. Look at Guma's HP here. Look at this. Look at Zeus and look at Guma. Look at the shields from Kasante. <laughs> Shields the uh, the Baron auto attack, but that Orion Soul is three items with upgraded ult. It's not over yet. That Orion Soul has so much damage. Like I said at the start of the series, I think T1's only way of winning is through bots because I think Pace is struggling, Lehend is struggling in this playoffs. It's gonna have to be a bot gap to win. Orion Soul has 295. Can Chobi carry this entire game? Guma's gonna hit mid tower, correct? I think. Maybe uh, they should Victor just keep going mid. I think it's better. Yeah, good call by, by T1. The dragons. I think they should have just kept going mid. This this fight looks a bit sketchy. It's on Faker to find the ready on Soul, I think. It's on Faker to shuffle Chovy. That's their only connect to the ready on Soul is the, is the Azir. Terria can blast cone with ult proking, right? He can channel and... Okay, Keen's in the market. The only connect they have is Faker onto a on... I mean, with the redemption coming in as well. Now the engage is going to be wasted. As we do they got Dragon. Keen's peeling Faker. Yeah, it's a horrible fight for T1. It's always going to be horrible, I feel like. Maybe Owner gets Lehens. Faker's going to try and recall in the wave. Wait, Owner is frying. I mean, why would they ever take that fight? No flash on Nico, no flash on Kalista, no flash on, on Azir. They have no connect without the gap close. Chobi is nine kills. Can Chobi carry the game all by himself? Well, the answer looks like maybe. I mean, there's no threat on this, on this already. Look at him. Plus 1k on Kalista. Plus 450 on the Nico shutdown. Like, this Aurelian Soul just got so much gold. It's absurd. I think he probably has a full Rabadons or some shit. Or Horizon Focus, yeah. Operation Kill Chovy is a go. They have Nico Flash. They have Kalista Ult. They have Zinzao Flash. They have Azir Flash. If that already on Soul dies, the fight is over. Rek'Sai, no damage. Varus is poke. Rel and Annie are engaged. If already on Soul dies, they lose. That guy's a 300 gold shutdown after we just got like 2k in a fight. And he's 3k up. If Chobi can avoid all of this engage, then fucking hell, give him the crown. I don't know if he can avoid all of this. Oh, Chobi. No Tibbers. Chobi just flying in. Chobi's going again. Faker's gonna make the play. Here he comes, Faker on the side. He's waiting for the angle. Oh, he did it, the ruler. He did the ruler thing, but I don't think it matters, does it? I think the already on Soul is the problem, but the Zinza will take so much damage. Owner got the already on Soul flash. Chovey! Chovey! Oh, the knock from Zeus! But he has no follow-up. Jesus, man. They can't kill Varus. It's useless. Don't kill Varus. Varus is so useless. They need to kill already on Soul. Ooh, oh, ooh, yeah, they ooh, they're gonna two-man okay, Nash okay. Yeah, the on the Dragon Spawn. Sure, what a call! Now, but Keen no knows it. But I think he's too late. The they're gonna murder this Baron. It's so much damage out. from the Azir. Yeah. Chobi's flying. Chobi's flying. What the hell? 7k. 7k, 5k, 4k. It's gone. What a call by T1. They're out as well. Snap decision. They're trying to use Top Wave as well. I don't know if Top Wave's too greedy. I don't know how Guma can connect. Jesus, they're tanking. So, oh, no flash on Chobi! They found the Aurelion Soul! Yo, yo, yo. All I'm saying is Zinzao ult plus Cassante W. Not even fucking Cyber End Dragon does damage there. 10 seconds. There's no flash. Canyon's trying to peel the end. Owner is going crazy this game on the Zinzao. Aurelion Soul is up! Run from the dragon or end the game. Jesus, they won. Chobi's back is fucking aching. It's aching. All right, Genji, blue side. Ash band's important. Senna band, Kalista banding, red side. Senna band. Vi band, classic. I wonder if they're going to ban Faker or Rihanna still. There's Senna. 
and you gotta Oriana really Band is gonna come out. Mind, this Ash. Player has been to so many they banned Varus, what the, the fuck? Oh, well, that means they have to force hand Kalista ban, right? Really they take Orion out. They have to ban Kalista, right? Or they're gonna ban Rel. Or they're gonna ban Azir. Or they can ban Talia. They do ban the Kalista. All right, what are you first picking, Rel? Azir? Is that the problem? Talia? Zeri's up. Ash is up. Ash is up. Yo, Ash is up. Be careful. The, the Azir. I think T1's well, yeah, gonna flex so Rel for sure. Rel Zeri would be a very T1 thing. Guma Zeri looked a bit so better. Oh, heavy. Lucian the Nami. Are we gonna get Lucian Nami? Here. Hold up. Lucian Talia Nami. Okay, I like it. Is it gonna be Zeri Lulu Lucian Nami? No, they'll do it to me. Come on, bro. It's 2024. It's a great series. Opening ceremony was crazy. The drafts have been good. We've had Nikos and fucking Annie's and Kalistas. Don't do it. Don't go back. Don't do it. Don't do Zeri Lulu. Don't do it. This is the best series ever. They saved us. They saved us. Aphelios Nautilus. Aphelios Lulu locking in. They saved us. All right, here comes Nami. Rumble. It's, I don't think Rumble's a big deal other than for T1. Okay, they did ban it. I thought Rumble wasn't going to be that big of a deal because they're playing Lulu. And Jarvan doesn't work into Lucian and Vi's banned. Take away the main. Vayne top, top ban. Vayne top ban means, I mean, with their comp, they want to play a tank top, right? They're probably going to blind Cassante or Rek'Sai. I think Viego's a good pick. Rel's a really good pick here, but with Talia, you really want an AD jungler. So Lee Sin or Sin Zhao? I think Sin Zhao ban is not bad. Owner Sin Zhao looks good, but Poppy is pretty scary to play against if you're playing Lucian, Lee Sin, and they have Poppy on four. Cassante ban. They don't want to blind Cassante. Maybe they want Rek'Sai? They could pick Rek'Sai. They're going to go Sin Zhao. Yeah, Sin Zhao mega pick. I think they should have banned Sin Zhao. Because that means they can't blind Lee Sin, right? The side of they would probably go Viego instead then, I guess. The now, are soul. we going to get Kenyans? I think Sejuani is good. Lee Sin's good. I think Lee Sin, Rek'Sai, Sejuani. Lee Sin plus... I don't know. So I don't know. I think they need tanks. They need well. engage. Jax. They have three Most mega champs. Rek'Sai, Jax. Yeah. Sejuani, Rek'Sai is good, yeah. It's good. It doesn't break. I think uh, Aatrox can work here, but I think Zack is good. I would love a Zack, just give them more engage onto that backline. Oh, I love a Zack pick. Perfect. Good draft by both sides. Good draft. Crazy how these are four junglers in the game. Well, five junglers are in the game right now. <laughs> Balanced. You know, we spread out the champs. We let you guys have some fun. Genji's top jungle is quite strong. Rek'Sai said Juani is strong early, but Zack can negate the Rek'Sai lane, goes even in team fights. Zack sends out on the backline is huge. Genji have more range. T1 have a lot more mid-game damage, no right? Problems, so Aphelios is here, six items, fries T1. But Talia Lucian controls mid-waves really well. They've got Lucian for mid-wave contest, they've got Talia to force towers, they've got Culling to push them back. Genji have gone to scaling, they've gone to reliability. T1 have got a bit of volatility going. Alright, T1 needs to make magic. Genji needs to slow it down. Some kind of like uh, ward on Raptors is good by T1 because if they spot out Seiji on his top path and she starts top side, then Xin Zhao can do this, right? Big pressure. Actually though, when I watch Lulu lanes versus Nami lanes, I've seen this lane too many times. I actually see the Lulu lane get push early. I mean, obviously, Lucian Nami's not one, strong until three. But if Sejuani game, starts topside and T1 have info on that, Xin Zhao has some kind of access here, I think. Top jungle into, into invade. I wonder if Faker... Yeah, he warded the Raptors over the wall. You see that ward? So that knows... That info is really good, because... I mean, Sejuani could start red. But the info in the next 30 seconds will be that Sejuani started blue. What Canyon could do to cover that off is blue, Gromp, red. Yeah, but I feel like he's in a full clear. So yeah, like I said, I, normally I see the Lulu lanes get push level 1. So let's see if Guma and Carrier can get the push into it. So Lehens is weaving autos in for damage. Looks like they're going to control the wave here, T1. Alright. Pings from T1, spot Sejuani on Grump. They know that she's clearing topside. Now, does he skip Wolves? No. Alright, I think Owner has access here. He's going to see her on, 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 on Raptors by the time he's running here. And he can maybe fight her on, the, on Red. Chobi's on the tower. Lulu's on the tower. It's a great play. Because what you can do, uh, is he going to skip them? He's skipping his Raptors to get the red quickly. Okay, well, no play. Actually, when I watch this Zack Rek'Sai matchup, I actually think Zack wins it early as well. Crazy, no? Like, look at top situation. T1 have three pushing lanes. Here comes the bounce from Gen G. They crash two and the third bounces. Bolt Crab looks hard to contest for owner now. These pushing lanes are losing their prio. He can try and sneak it, but it's mega risky to sneak this. He's just gonna send it. Oh, Yoink can run. 
Okay, Runners fair enough. Gonna pick that one up. He can sell fights in here, I think. Since our wins really hard. Since our such a good early game skirmisher. He's gonna defend the ward here. Maybe has the flash here, Canyon. Nah, he's queues up in five. The he needs to be careful of Zinzao flash though. If he autos on more. Oh, solo kill by owner. You can't be making mistakes like that, Canyon. Canyon never makes mistakes like that. I'm surprised he died there. Canyon rarely makes mistakes. They're trading so hard, they're baiting them to fight. Maybe they get Lulu flash for that. I doubt it though. Nice side steps. Whoa, they're really under big pressure here because now his top camps are respawning. Zinzao spotted, helping them push out so Sejuani can take Raptor, uh, Krug and maybe take his Raptors. Uh, crab. Maybe Sejuani can take his camps here. Owner has to overstay to save his bot, but he's going to lose his Raptors for it. But he still gets the kill, so it's fine. Faker's going to try and defend them. Nah, he can't defend shit there. No flash on Zin. Where's Sack? Where's Sack? Where's Sack? On the run, he's basing. Zeus, you little troll. Why are you basing? Uh, he knows he's dead. So much trouble here. We'll Give the kill to Faker. To That's a big pick by T1 kill. again. Even I can't really blame Keem for that. He just wants to proxy in base. It's really weird that Nami's top at minute Keen. 5. But this is it. This is the early mid game that T1's comp gives them. A lot of early game playmaking, a lot of skirmishing. And Genji are kind of giving it to them. Who has to give up a little bit, but it is what it is. Wave kind of sucks. They need owner to bail them out again. Yeah, this wave is, yeah, this wave is trash. Yeah. Kuma so needs to call jungle now. And Canyon knows that he's going to call jungle, so it's going to be a 3v3 around bot. And it ain't good for T1. And Kuma has to base, by the way. Uh, unless there's a plant. Okay, there's a plant. W the bush for vision. Get the ward. Chengi's got moved from mid and they have no Taliyot. They're defending this slow push so well, but I think it's bouncing actually because Pei slow... Yeah, it's, it's pushing, it's pushing. A lot of mean stairs. Uh, Guma's fine. Faker's in base, though. He went to Burke's Lamont's first item. That's pretty good for him. Pretty good buy for the, for the Talia. If you ask me. I think Zach is fine. He just heals up. Ults him if he has to. He's saving his ult. Okay. Alright, Zeus, you cocky motherfucker. He's hitting a dove. <laughs> He's gonna get dove, maybe. Sejuan is milking top camps, but it's really good for T1. They're just trading camps. And Zeus is just healing with his W on the wave because Keen can't hit him on the tower, right? So, yeah, I think they're fine with that T1. Some plates over to uh, the Lucian. Odin is just to make sure that mid is safe. Yeah, this Talia doesn't really have damage to trade back with, right? Now that there's Azir, they're both kind of tanky right now. You know, it's going to be the same as game one and game two. It's going to be slow for 15 minutes, and then it's going to ramp up. But Genji's macro game one was crazy. And T1's team fighting in game two was unreal. So here comes the swap from Genji. This is what they did in game one as well. They did really good macro on the swap, right? They swapped in game one and caught out Zeus, but Zeus is basing on Rek'Sai's base, and I think he's already reading the swap here. Zeus, look at his position. Zeus already re reads the swap because Genji in game one swapped for Grubbies on the respawn, and so T1 are already aware. They learned from game one that uh, there's a play like this happening. It's good that they've adapted during the series. They're still going to lose the Grubs unless they get there quick. A little bit late. A little bit late. They'll get one, but if T1 do not at least respond. they'll be able to match, right? Guma's still in the mid lane. Oh, they got a six. <laughs> nice smite by Canyon. It's interesting safe. how they put bot lane mid here and Talia top T1. That just leaves Faker oh, so vulnerable. He has Merc Shreds though. The, the tidal wave's not bad actually. It knocks Canyon up in the tower Kanyan. range. Kenny dead. So Lucian gets a kill. The problem is they're going to bleed mid waves here, right? So owner's going to run mid and catch the wave so they don't lose any gold. So overall it's even because no waves are dropped. Faker lost flash though. And he lost a lot of waves. But Lucian got those waves, right? So I would say it's still Genji favored, but... T1 got really a little bit out of it. Here. This Zach champ is absurd. He just healed, what, 500, 600 health there? Yeah, I'm really surprised they put Talia top bot lane mid. No I didn't see the sequence, but uh, really worth for Genji, though. Really worth. They're going to hold these lane states for a bit, I think, till Herald spawns. Big pace on Herald. Actually, Drake's up in 50. It could be Infernal, Hextech, Soul, big, big souls. Even Cloud Soul is crazy good for both sides. Wait, Faker's trying to ult, I think. Nice, getting cancelled. 
Canyon might have the flash. They don't have Culling up though. There's Faker's ult. Oh, the Culling just came up, but he flashed it. They're going to lose a play top here because Chovy's playing Demolish. So Chovy's going to fast push and hit the tower, get a play to the STP. Chovy's getting slowly, slowly, slowly getting ahead. Okay, he's not going to proc it. He's scared. Maybe he didn't see where Owner is, but he sees him on a ward now. Did Owner pull out Drake? Yeah, he did. Owner's doing Dragon. He got pushed off. T1 giving Faker spacing. Him basing makes me think he's TPing in. Zeus is TPing in really early. Chovy has to flash straight away. Oh! Owner stole it! Kumuyushi just got one shot though. Big shot from Faker! That'll get Aphelios. Owner didn't have ult, so he can't disengage, so he's down. Zeus is going to try and find a way out. Yes, flash and E. Maybe he can live. Nah, he's dead. It's one for three for T1, but they got the dragon. It's a terrible soul as well. Unlucky. Oh, what happened to Guma there? Guma just got popped. Was it Rek'Sai flash? They didn't have Xin Zhao ult or Lucian ult, so Lucian couldn't play range and Xin Zhao couldn't disengage, so just instantly dead. But look at what happened to Guma? For the teleport in. He buys Leandri, so has a huge spike as he shows oh, well. Keenan Chovy just Mixing snap onto him. If Chovy doesn't get that, with how Paze is able to get backline... Really actually, well played by Chovy and so Keen. Instant call to just turn onto the Lucian. He couldn't even react. Because as he gets flashed, knocked up, Chovy's already dashing. So it's not like he's flashing away from Azir dash, he's already knocked up. This Azir is getting so strong. He's getting so much free time on side lanes. The game hasn't broken yet though. Azir has bot push, they're grouping up mid. Herald is still up, and this top tier one is low. So I think T1, uh, Genji, sorry, are dropping bot, they pushed out. Zach catches, and now they're gonna play top side for top tower and Herald. T1 can't cross map because they have no bot push, and there's a tower here from Azir, can you see that? The tower just died. So now they're looking for two objectives and T1 are nowhere. Here they come to the contest. Tally ults could be big here to split them if they want to take the fight, but they think it's too risky. Sejuani ults. Oh, needs to ult. He needs to ult. He needs to ult. He's dead. He's dead. Faker's in trouble. Uh-oh, here comes Toby gonna force that flash out of Faker and get that summoner out as well. Ooh, seismic shove onto Lulu. Onto the Lulu could be nice, but not gonna Does owner have Merc Treads? Yo, he does. Lucian should have rapid fire in base. T1's comp has two strengths over Gen G's. The strength is Lucian rapid fire culling can chunk out one of their carries if they misposition. And also, Zac has a really good snap engage, right? If they don't, if they get caught off guard. But if Gen G are the ones to go first, Looks like T1 can't do really do anything. Nami ult was a little bit late. Oh, it was on cooldown. Nami ult was on cooldown. Gen G have so much range. It's crazy. They're going to get this top tier one. They have Herald for uh, mid tier one of those years. So they're going to get all three outers. T1 one's bleeding really hard. That was a bad cutting. They got Lance heal though. Lucian has rapid fire, but that Aphelios is not weak. Just kind of I don't think T1's, do he T1's comp should be ahead at this the point Azir, in the game. Very, They're only uh, ahead in dragons. In terms of he Drake in 30. Flash, I mean, if T1 want to play for gold here, they have got the opportunity to drop this and play for this, but they have double TP Genji, right? So even this ward is kind of scary. They don't have any grubs either, so it's going to take a while for Talia to take that tower. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't even get it on this wave. Maybe he needs to wait yeah. for this one. Break, but I think Genji's giving. Uh, T1's Shape giving, sorry. Okay, Faker needs to make sure he doesn't overstay, but it's Talia, so he can ult out. There's a TP from Azir to cover. Uh, now, can they dive Azir is the question. Very questionable TP here from the Oh, the bubble misses. They need to kill the tower, otherwise the TP's going to come in from the Rek'Sai, and Faker's just going to die to the tower. It's fine. Execute's okay, but... Do they have the damage? I think Lulu's here. Keen's probably going to live. Guma's coming, though. Chat, what Faker did there was correct. He wasn't hit by a champ. He stood still. You could see he was going to die on purpose to make sure the tower aggro doesn't juggle. You could say it's int, but I don't know. I'm not going to be his lawyer here, but I feel like the reason I don't think it was int was because he stood still. Like, why would he stand still? He literally went out of his way to press S on his keyboard. If he didn't stand still, then I would be like, maybe he's in thing, but I think it looked like it was on purpose. 
I mean, it doesn't matter. He's executed. They don't get goals. They only get XP. He could live. I think he could live as well. As I agree. But if he lived, he wouldn't have been able to get his Q off. So it added damage, right? So the reason I think he didn't in here look is because watch, he's gonna press S. You see how he's standing still? Maybe he thought he would live the last shot. Actually, he stood still so he could get the last Q off. Maybe he thought he would live. But it doesn't matter anyway. It's an execute. Are they gonna collapse on Red side? Yeah, Pelia TP. Azir doesn't. No. This is the one game where Chovy's not Chovy, you know what I'm saying? I feel like this whole series, he's... That Lucian does no damage. That Lulu should have got one shot on the spot, I think. The knockup's gonna hit Lulu. Pace, no flash! Big shove! Canyon's knocked up! Keen's gonna look for the flash after Goomba. Goomba's gonna get taken out. Titan dies! They should go for a Baron Force, but I don't think they can. Oh, he cancelled it! The bubble missed, though. Oh, he got knocked up on the push! He didn't go into tower range. Nice stopwatch on the, on the Zach Q, but the, the jump. The bubble missed! Kane's won! T1 won the fight! The mechanics in that fight were crazy. But the Zero ult got cancelled by Rek'Sai knockup. That's a lot of gold. Oh, shit! Canyon's in there! But he's he was like, yo, what up? <laughs> what is Lehen doing warding that bush? Pace gets caught because he has no flash. Knockup from Keen was good here. Flashes in. Canyon just dies to the back end. And now here, I think Chobi's trying to self-peel. I mean, catch from Keen. Chobi walks up. Chobi pushes, but he gets knocked up. So Zack actually stays on top of the Azir. He has to stopwatch the Zack Q. The Zack knock makes the bubble miss. T1 <laughs> have some standing gold, bot tier 1, Drake's in 30, I think Lucian has IE in base as well, oh god he does, Jesus Christ, Genji have a lot of scaling, they need to slow down, they need to really slow this game down, because what's going to happen now is T1 is going to put their foot on the gas, big force inbound, they have Zack and there's a no flash of Helios, he's TPing on midwave saves just to defend the wave because they want to keep the game accelerating, I don't know if they can play on this midwave though, so, so maybe that was a mistake. <laughs> Gets a mid push for Drake though. You could, you could see he stood still like, ah shit, this was in. Chunk out jungle, secure Drake. I would love maybe Talia to come here and start pushing. T1 have two options, 1-4 and play for bot tier 2. Or 5-man mid and Talia ult to force. Talia ult can get them a tower, but I think Talia bot is much better. Yeah. The, Drake was taken at the, same time, T1 the bot tier 2, you can see the pings. Very, very Zach well. can catch Getting the next wave, push this wave, not get caught. He's fine, he has flash, and they play on this tower. And that's the correct play. T1's positioning here is good. Zach just needs to not get caught, and everything's fine. Now they can maybe move mid and play for mid tier 2 with Talia ult. Nope, they're gonna base. Oh, they're not gonna base, they're gonna stay. They want to take enemy red. I really think they can force mid tier 2 with Talia ult on this next wave. Aphilos has no flash. He has no flash for like 20 seconds, right? They can just wall here. Maybe they could hit it. Anyway, they're going to base. Doesn't matter. Their Baron should be running off. Yeah, it's off. Elixir of Iron. Yeah, he's going to pop it when a fight starts. He wants to make sure he, he doesn't waste it, basically, right? Aphelios has hit a good break point. He needs LDR really badly, though. Actually, not that badly, but it would be handy. There's a Talia ult to force a tower. Aphelios has flash up now, though. So even if he got caught, he'd be fine. From the ground up. No He's real force there. Their Baron's off. To do that. So T1 definitely have a lot of time. Oh. Uh, what a shot by Canyon. Jesus, they've got a good engage on the Faker. It's all on Gooba. That cutting is great. Faker's alive. But uh, he's not gonna be able to that cutting from Guma was such a good angle, wasn't it? Faker didn't even have to flash. As he tries to flash and kite back. He's gonna queue in for the tower. Wait, Zeus is just going. No, he's going. No, Zeus is going. We do have the Zonius, but Chobi instant timing on the Fucking hell that Azir is tanky. That Azir is tanky. Yeah, Faker has Seraph Zonia, so. He lives through it. Man, Chobi POV cat despair, man. I feel so bad for Chobi. His jungle bot are getting slapped around and Faker's playing like... Faker's fucking peaking this series. It's crazy. All they have to do is press Zonia's here. And then the Azir shuffle pushes him away from the Rek'Sai. Rek'Sai ults, but Seraph's propped. All right, Chobi's trying to build a Abyssal Mask and Frozen Heart ASAP. Lucian's getting close to LDR. Oh, they're TPing mid. Is Genji gonna take a page out of T1's book and force a Baron? I mean, this is a T1 player just fuck. Oh, Carrier was really scared of. I think Carrier was scared of someone coming over the wall there, maybe. 
onto Pain. I'm not sure. He they're not that vision or not. I can see a the pink there now, but... <laughs> oh, that is zero damage. Look at Lucian's HP. Genji have map control. I think they should force, you know? It's really bad, but I don't think they have a choice. Maybe they're just going to have to force this Baron, because Soul's spawning in 30. This is what T1 did in game two. And Owner. Owner right here, so it's just going to be an attempted turn here from the side of T1. Faker is really deep. Trophy's on, yes. What's happening to the Baron? Owner stole it. It's over. And T1 will eventually win the fight. The wallets are getting real heavy at this point in the game. Oh, pace! tries to turn it around, but he's alone. As Owner goes What the fuck? Metaphilio just one-shotting. does get the execute. And that Me. should be enough. Now, Jesus, this damage. game is done. They're not, not going to end, I think, but they're going to get top tier too. They're going to base, get Dragon. They're going to have Soul. Faker went so deep, but he has Zonyas. Cunning from Guma was good. Faker flashed out, but look how many Chakrams Pace has. I think Pace played like a pussy. I think once he got those Chakrams, he should have walked in and just sent it when the fight was lost. He ulted, got all the Chakrams, and he ran away. He should have just gone head first into them. Maybe they were falling off, I'm not sure. You have to keep them up, I'm not sure, but I feel like he could have sent it there. I mean, obviously, he might die, right? But the fight is lost, he has to try something. Look at the size of him. Oh, cancel him on the wall there, Faker. No flash either. Stop watches the ult. I think it's fucked. Mistake by Faker. Should be able to come through at that least kills the siege as well. Faker, now that's dangerous for T1 because on that Baron with 50 seconds, they should have cracked bot tier one there, which have given an inhib, an inhib, and now base would be open, right? The base crack. This slows the game down, right? And slowing the game down with a, a zero Philios when Elders in five, they can cook, they can cook. Baron will be up again first, but yeah, Faker's trying to wall them on bot tier one, two, uh, tier three, but Keen just cancels him instantly. Obviously, well, Faker would ride it and then jump off. So been, Baron will be up first. Faker needs Rabadons. Lucian needs BT. Okay, well. He has BT. No objective at this point in time. Abyssal Mask yes, finished, he's building towards Frozen Heart. But Aphelios is getting really strong. Really like, uh, he's almost... Like, Lucian is, is spiked, that's it. But Aphelios can get one more. Obviously, he can get Boots tier 3, right? At tier 2. Like, ideally for Gen G, they get Randuin's, Frozen Heart, BT, and then they send the fight. And I think it's a lot more close than you think with that gold deficit. 10k doesn't really spell the story for the items. And then, obviously, they'll have GA Rabadons but, and Randuin's. But it's playable for Gen G. Right, it could be way worse. They could have Hextech Soul. They could have taken Botanib. It's gonna be tough, but it's playable. This Baron is the problem. If they could, if they could wait three minutes, I think Gen G would be okay. But this Baron in a minute is is, is too soon for them. This culling is gonna hurt. Here it comes. Oh my God, he misclicked the tunnel. Hope there. Yeah, okay, this is done. I take it back. Bigger Fios ult misses. That Fios ult could have done work because Lucian would have died. Zeus, it's crazy how OP top is when we're not playing Twisted Fate, isn't it? You pick the Zack and you jump in, bro. Alright, Elder in 130. Faker has Rabadon's owner has GA. Yeah, maybe it's done actually. It looks done. Even like the 10k gold lead, I don't think it, it, it doesn't feel like a 10k gold deficit, but I, I think it's done. If Lucian doesn't int, I think it kills everyone. Oh, Faker. That's a GG fight for if I've ever seen it. They'll get Baron, they'll get Elder. Yo, Faker might not have the flashiest lane face, but that motherfucker clutches. That motherfucker clutches when it matters. Obviously, that was just a kill with a 10 gold lead, but like all series long, I feel like he hits the nail on the head when it comes to making a play. When they're behind even or ahead, he just fucking nails it. He's the clutch guy. Gen G's just gonna flip it. T1 needs to fight them quick. They don't want to play this flip, do they? If T1 loses this flip, it's a horror. They're playing the fight quick. Look at the elders on 2k! Oh, they got it! Oh, shit! He don't miss these smites today. He don't miss them.
That was a bit too close for a 16k gold lead. That was a little close. Elder turns games. Match point for T1, really. I don't think they're going to win the next game. Unless Chen G mega chokes, I think we're going to go to five. I think Azir was not the problem. They'll realize that now, Chen G. I think T1 will win the series. I said 3 2 T1. But I think we're going to go to five still. I still feel it. I feel like this is a five game series. What's going to happen is Chen is going to go back blue side, and then on game five, T1 will have blue side. I can see it already. All right, is it going to be a Varus bet again? It is. So here comes Kalista on three. Looks good. There's the TF. Oriana was last for them last time. I think we deserve it. And now here comes Kalista. I don't think they should first pick Azir. I don't. Chovy it'll, needs it'll impact. The the play and how the Chovy needs impact. Oh, we I don't like that. I don't like that. Here comes Lulu Talia. So oh, wow. Azir, he won't think that here is that strong. But Talia's great well against Lucian. Baker. Why Maybe did they do that? Are they going to take away Zin? The they could Italia. go Jax, but then they're dropping yeah, AD. Then they can ban, the ban these. Zin, Talia. I, I really think this Ch Talia champ looks great. I mean, obvious pick here is Zeri on three, well, right? But T1's not a very big Zeri be. team. Guma played Zeri a little bit recently, but it's not his best champ. It's not his favorite. Like, obviously, Viper would slam a Zeri here. Oh, the already on Soul. The already on Soul. He's running it back, even though they lost. Now, are they going to go Zeri, or is he going to go Jinx? Just got killed in lane. Guma's much more of a Jinx Aphelios player, I think. Yeah, he's not a Zeri enjoyer. He's not cringe. All right, Genji needs to be careful of this Xin Zhao. I think this Xin Zhao is a big problem. Aurelion Soul could not get through it. T1 Rumble Band looks good. Jarvan Band looks good. Anything will engage. Or Jace. Yeah, Jace Rumble seem like good bands here. Okay, Certainly, are they? The crit I mean, this obviously this spells Lee Sin, right, Poppy? Lee Sin is not very good for T1's comp. You don't really want to play a carry jungler like Lee Sin with Lulu as here. You need champs that go in. Is still I wonder if T1 is, a Gen G is looking for the, right for the Lee Sin. Canyon Lee Sin is unreal. The Vayne ban, I think they're going to go Cassante Lee Sin. Cassante is amazing comfort for Keen, and Lee Sin is good playmaking for Canyon. They're giving over Zin's out. It's Jax, Cassante, I think. Lee Sin, Cassante. Or Rek'Sai, but I think Cassante out for Keen on Cassante right now. I think Keen's been struggling. He needs to get up back on Cassante ASAP. He's really comfortable on this champ. The Rek'Sai's not looking good. And now I think it's Canyon Lee Sin. I really do. Oh my god, he's got Kha'Zix for game four! I've been saying this! Kha'Zix into Zin Zhao! How many times have I said this, chat? Kha'Zix into Zin Zhao! How many times have I said it, chat? I said it's always good. And no one's ever done it. But Canyon did it! And Zeus is Gwen. Zin Zhao Gwen is powerful. Kha'Zix is a great matchup into Zin Zhao. Kha'Zix is great. Zin. Azir, Aphelios, Lulu, Zin Zhao, bro, Kha'Zix has ball. such a good if game here. Kha'Zix has a crazy Zin game. This is such a good Kha'Zix game. Of a if you're Joe, ever going to draft the Kha'Zix game, it's now. Output, no cap. Lacking CC, really good squishy champs, and Kha'Zix 6 wins against Zin Zhao. Yo, mega Kha'Zix pick. Punish this Zin Zhao blind. No more jacks. Halo Blades is here. He's not going Grasp. I wonder if Grasp is good against their champs. This isn't solo queue. Bro, I believe in game five. I believe in this Kha'Zix really with my whole heart. They have no frontline. None. You have to play Q Evolve Kha'Zix in pro play. If you don't have Q Evolve Kha'Zix, you can't even do neutral objectives without dying to them. It takes forever. Now, Kha'Zix Zinzal matchup. Zinzal wins one to five. Post six, Kha'Zix can win. Obviously, Zinzal's an auto attack based champ, right? Purely auto attack functioner. So, Kha'Zix with ult and Q Evolve in isolation, his ult doesn't do anything to you. You can jump back through it. You can just, you're just spamming Q on him in stealth. He can't hit you. You can also just walk up to him in stealth, auto Q. Uh, auto Q, and he has to ult, and you just run away. But Kazix needs the game to be messy. He needs the game to be split. He needs T1 to split up and be sloppy a bit. It's not a perfect champ, you know. You can't force them to split up, but they need to. Gumuyushi went bone plating. Yeah, bot lanes normally use their summoners, their combat summoners, really early in the in the lane because I mean they're short cooldown, and it gets them prior, right? And they value Pryo, sure, and they think I, I because there's going to be no people, fights, so, you know, maybe just pick up they just use it for Pryo. Like, like, they'll use heal for a trade, you know? You to go like, you might see that, that soon, if they're going to dash forwards with yeah, heal in this trade I'd really like, aggressively. To... How to freeze a wave 101, or hold. You know, we'll see what, this is not so much freezing, chat. It looks like freezing, but the wave will push. It's just, it's close to your tower, so it's more like holding, right? I don't think Genji should be scared here. 
They're gonna get knocked up now. I think they should have stayed on the tower. They have healed. They have no ignite. I think they should have played on the tower. Now they're fucked. Now they want to stay under the tower. It's a bit too late now, isn't it? You have no heal. They can maybe bait here. Kha'Zix is behind them. Chats, you're all hating on the Kha'Zix pick. I will die on this hill. The Kha'Zix is a good pick here. Oh, Faker is really far behind the XP. How is he not getting 6 on the wave? Faker to be back. Chubby to be back. Wow, they first picked this Lucian. Let that sink in. It's at the door. It just rang the bell. Kha'Zix is really strong right now. But he's playing very selfish. Look at his positioning on the map. Enemy red buff over Dragon Contest. I mean, yeah, Dragon Contest looks hard, right? Bro, I fucking love Canyon. Busts out Kane against tanks. Busts out Kha'Zix against squishies. Yo, he picks what's, what he needs to pick. He don't fucking meta slave it. Oh, we got a... Uh, Roger, Roger, this is bot lane. We got a problem. What is going on down here? Where is Kha'Zix's stable lanes at? What's, what's happening? I guess since I was zoning them off, really hurt them. Bro, Guma is embarrassing them. His movement is so smooth. Oh, he missed Q, though. If he hit that Q, it would be absolute montage level. Top is going well, though. See what I mean? My Keen Comfort plays into Gwen. Zeus is Gwen. And he's even. Keen is stable, but Bot isn't. Canyon is just playing for camps. Super selfish. Playing for XP. Playing for levels. I mean, it's Kha'Zix, right? He's on, a, he's on a neutral objective slave, this game. He's just fucking taking buffs, taking camps, taking crabs. And grubbies are quite nice. Where is he going? I thought he was looking for a top gank there. But Zeus just watered. So 20 CS deficit, bottom two plates. Gold is not too bad, though. So Genji called a swap, which I think is good. Problem is, Cassante doesn't have a lot of armor. They can't dive him, I think. Oh, Zeus wants that top wave. Nice flash pace. Here comes Chovy. They can kill them both, maybe. What is that culling? Oh my god, they went two for two in that. Are you kidding? Maybe they'll, they won't even get grubs either. They won't even get grubs either, maybe. I'm surprised Zin Zhao's not crossing. He's pushing mid, mid, mid wave was trash. That's a big play for T1. Two huge kills to Faker on the 2v4. He just dies to grubs. Yo, Kenyon. Yo, Kenyon. Kenyon. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, we'll take five. Hold up. Let the Kha'Zix cook. Chill out, chat. Like, that culling was fucking bronze. Also, what is this Nami doing? What is Lehens and Pays doing this series? Am I doubting the Kha'Zix a little bit? Nah, nah, they'll be fine, right? The bot jungle, the bot, not jungle, the bot gap right now, and I guess the owner zone away from tower is crazy. They're playing the, the, the mismatch of the same matchup from last game, and they're still stomping them. He TP'd in very early for that. 40 CS down. Oh, Hextech Soul. It's one apiece, though. Four minutes on Drake. Herald's up. Bot lanes are mid. Top lanes are bots. T1 has TP advantage on the Gwen. So Herald's contest is a bit complicated for Gen.G because it's also hard for Cassandra to push out. But he went Spirit Visage first item, which I guess helps. All right, so T1 have Herald. It was pretty unfightable there for Gen G. Obviously, TP disadvantage basically hurt them. They used their TP to deny the second dragon, which basically was the nail in their Herald fight. See what I mean? Really good 1v1. Lucky for him, his team's there, though. But Kha'Zix versus Sin Zhao is quite nice. Ooh, we're TPing in for bot tier 1. I mean, it is... I don't know why I say we all the time. They are going to get first blood tower, which is good for the Aurelion Soul Kassante, but Faker should get top tower. He doesn't have demolish this time around. Canyon has no ult. They have Herald for mid now, Gen uh, T1. So they should be able to get it. So Gen G need to contest this mid push a lot. Maybe Aurelion Soul ult for this tower. Faker has no TP. Yeah, there's Aurelion Soul ult. Oh, the double bubble! Into the wave! Oh, they didn't get a single kill there, really? Where's the damage? Where's Lucian Ignite? Where's the kills? Crazy they didn't get a kill there. That's crazy. Meanwhile, Kha'Zix is just power farming. I'm at a payphone. Guys, I'm gonna go Wolves Grump base and then my Crux might be up soon. Nah, Canyon will be level 11 now, so the Kha'Zix hopefully connects to the game with his W upgrade. Here comes the base from Kha'Zix. Level 11, W upgrade. Herald mid from T1 gets mid tier 1. Drake spawning in 40. Genji have two options. Fight the Drake. 
which T1 will happily fight or take top tier 1. Kha'Zix is two items. Why are they going top? Why are they going top? They're just covering Faker. Look at look at Kha'Zix. Enemy Grom's up. La la la. La la la. Yo, Canyon is strong. That Kha'Zix does damage. It's just a case of if T1 can avoid it or not. Looks like T1 are the ones maybe not taking the Dragon Fight and playing for top tier 1. Keen's gonna base and catch. Insane. I don't think they can dive Keen. He's got really good itemization because T1 has double AP solo laners. They don't have Grubbies or Demolish, so I don't think there's anything they can do here. They can chunk the tower a bit. Oh, did I say top tier 1? I meant top tier 2, sorry. La 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 la. Bro, the Kha'Zix is power farming. My crugs are up. All they need to do, Genji, in the next five minutes of play is secure top and mid tier 1 and get all three altars because T1's going to get bot tier 1 in the next couple minutes. And then it'll be three towers to is even and then it'll be coming down to Baron control and the Baron dance. Ooh, that's a triple root. Oh, no, I thought it was purple gun. My bad. Basically Triple damage. Say, you know, boom, boom, okay, that Aphelios has big damage. <laughs> no oh my god, there's so much damage in this game, chat. There's one tank in this game. Kind of two if you count Zin Zhao, but not really. Kha'Zix can one-shot. Already on Soul will do so much damage. Lucian Culling, Aphelios ult, Azir. These fights are going to be very quick. Yoink. <laughs> These fights are going to be very quick. Look at this! Look at the 1v1! I told you! I've been saying this for months! It's crazy, that matchup! You see the damage? Whoa, are they going here? Whoa, be careful, Chovy. He has to ult. He's stuck behind the wall. They should just get mid tower here, Genji. I don't know what they're doing. No damage. You never said that? There's been like five drafts this year where I'm like, Zinzao look, uh, Kha'Zix looks good here into Zin, and my chat's like, cope. Kha'Zix into Zin, cope. So Genji got mid tier 1. They should get top tier 1 soon. Kha'Zix is two levels up. Look at this, look at this 1v1 and tell me it's fair. With the slow, you have enough time. And because of the evolved Q, like, the isolate, even through the heal, it just isn't enough. <laughs> You're never going to be able to keep the cast on. Kha'Zix exposes all of Zin Zhao's weaknesses. All right, but it's not out of the water yet. Yeah, T1's still fine. They have insane scaling, earlier, really good like damage. But yeah, Kha'Zix also functions as like a decent T1 face check threat, right? Because his W is just really annoying. No You're just permanently now, walking into Kha'Zix's W. Like, you'll see it here. He might just jump and W him. Yeah, he's gonna Let's clear the ward. See that? It's just annoying as hell. But now, can you get away from the Aurelian soul without a flash? Faker has Zonyas. He's going to divide, and Odor is providing a front line here. Goes into the Zonyas. A chance for T1. Canyon's gonna... He must be dead here, right? Desperate to take it down. Yes. Gets the red ult down. And All right, they got one back. Where the fuck is Pace? Toby just trying to... It's gonna be one Zeus, for one. Is going to be isolated here. The rest of the team was well, a shutdown for Zeus. Yo, why did Keen take it from Pays? That's disgusting. One for one. And look at the summoner Bonanza being thrown out. We have flashes gone. We have yeah, it's true. Gone. Chronicler's that right. Look at these summoners. For team. If you lose Absolute Baron's gone. Both teams have mayhem. Canyon lived for way too long. I was watching Canyon this fight. Like, how is this guy not dead yet? Watch this. Knock up. Look at his health. Shielded flashes. Q1 do uh, R1 dodged. R2 dodged. I was like, is this guy gonna get out? Yeah, they have no summoners on their carries. Where's King going? Oh, they have a feel. They have already on soul. Jesus, it's unplayable, isn't it? Already on soul going crazy. They get soul point as well on Hextech. The Genji fans woke up. Chat, I told you it's going to game five. I told you the Kazakhs were going to be. You just write, cope. You just write, that's all you can write. I know exactly what T1's going to do. T1's going to rush Baron. You know it. I know it. You know it. My fish knows it. T1's going to fucking rush a Baron. I can sm Look at Genji. They're sweating. Look at them. Oh, fuck Baron. Crazy how they can engage with just already on Soul flying in and Ghost. He gets walked on here. I mean, he has no sums, right? <laughs> T1 need more items. Their carries are strong later on, but they need more items. And I've been saying this, bro. I think Azir is not the pick. It's strong, but I don't know. I feel like Azir is losing every game, apart from one. I think Talia and Aurelion Soul, these, these mobility playmakers, are, are doing so much work on the map. Like, Faker on Talia can really impact the game. On Azir, he needs to scale. 1v1. I don't like it. I feel like agency is so important. Oh, he's trying to force his ult. Azir is a playmaker. I mean, he's not really. He needs to farm a lot. 
Here right comes the TP. Yeah, Lehens, what is Lehens doing? The Nami's in and fucking TP Narnia. Chovy. Well, that guy's one shot. <laughs> Kazix just slid his throat. Oh now, boy! Nice try. Guma's just out of range. Game five! Game five! Cue it up! I knew it! T1 gets blue side for game five. You went from T1 supporter to Genji's lawyer. No, I just say who I think's gonna win. It's not that deep. I look at their champs in the game, I just say who's gonna win. In my opinion. The T1 fans are saying I jinxed it. Jinxed what? Getting the best series all year? My bad! My bad, Jinx it again! They have a TP ward really far, but it's only Fakers having TP. Oh boy, oh boy! Oh god! Genji's soul is spawning. But I think they can end this. It's happening, guys. Zayus is desperate. He is so desperate to try to not allow this to go to game five, but it is inevitable. Gen G will take down the turret, and they will take down this Nexus. Baker oh, good flash by on. Pace. Who's going to get the kill? The Who's going to get it? Ah, oh, King. bring us to Silver Spring. The best series of the year. The if you've got any super glue in your house, stick it to your ass cheeks and sit down. Don't fucking move and lock it in. Nautilus pick. Urban. Cinnaban. Kalista Varus is probably going to take it away. TF ban is good. Maybe Varus ban on blue side or Zeri. I think giving pay Zeri on red side is a mistake. They ban the Lulu. That makes sense. That stops the Zeri a little bit. Now, do you ban Varus? Or Oriana? Do you give fake or Oriana game 5? Lucian Nami's up. Varus is up. That's a tough choice. They ban Ash. Fake or Oriana's up. He's not going to go for it. Lucian insta locks for T1. Genji can go Varus. Vi is up. Wait, Vi is up. Varus open. Vi is open. Is here Oriana? Talia? Zeri. He's going to go for Zeri even without Lulu. It's Pace's comfort. I think they should have banned Zeri over Lulu. What are they going to play? Zeri Renata? Zeri Nolt? Uh, not spam. Zeri Rakan on three. Zeri Milio. Zeri Yumi. Vi Talia's up, but T1 can't and take both. Zeri Annie Flex. Okay. Faker's Oriana. Insta locked in. Faker smiling. He loves that. Fake Oriana game five. That is scary. What are they picking on three here? They must be picking Vi. Right? I don't know how this makes sense otherwise because. You it's can pick Corky into Oriana, but that matchup sucks. For this final wow, game. I hate Genji's draft Chobi already. I hate so it. it I hate Genji's draft. Well. Maybe they can salvage it. So they need. Well, they need to fix it. Against him. They need Zinza or Vi, I think. 100%. Maybe not Vi. They're going to go Cassante on four, I think. Yeah, they should ban Cassante. They should ban Cassante, Jace. I think Rumble is fine to leave open. It's hard. Cassante, Rumble, Jace. I think the way the series has been going, I think Jace, Cassante are the safe bans. I think Rumble is not worth it. Unless you ban Rumble and play Zack into Cassante. They want Zin Zhao. Obviously, they want Zin Zhao. But if they pick Zin Zhao, I think they will go Nocturne. It's Keen's best champ, Cassante. They can't give it up. So Nocturne by Zin Zhao. Jungle should be pretty easy to cover off. It's just Zeus. Zeus number one comfort here is Nar. Zeus classic comfort is Nar. But Zack is good into Cassante. I agree. I think Jax is the pick, or Poppy maybe. Maybe it's a Poppy game actually. Jax Poppy. I don't think Lee Sin's the pick. I can see why you would go Lee Sin, but I think it's Poppy. Yeah. Really Genji's comp's a bit weird. A little bit time. weird. They have good so engage with Annie, actually follow up but they don't it. have and much to follow through. Can. They have a package but maybe, a but Corky Zeri's backline. So T1's comp is more well-rounded. Genji's comp is really wildcard-esque. But I think the way the series has been going, T1's draft is better. Oriana, Zack, Guma, Lucian looks good, and owner got his get not against Kha'Zix. Genji's comp looks too comfortable, you know? I want to play Corky last game. I want to play my Zeri. I want to play my Cassante. It doesn't link up very well. It's too much comfort. Trophy Corky looks good though, but that matchup is hard. Comet Oriana against Corky. Oriana outranges you so hard. I think T1 might have 
Faker and Tovey Both solo lanes pushing. I don't know about top, but when I saw Cassante do uh, Zach, Zach normally had Fryo and Bot, I guess, is contested. No lane swaps this series. They're invading the Poppy, maybe. Faker's trying to get some info. Canyon sees the ward. Ooh, like Owner was in the bush, can chunk out Chovy a little bit. Can you get the Q here, Faker? He's gonna chase him until the tower. Kassante got a ward on his blue. Looks like Zeus is leashing. They lose top push because of the leash. Bot is contested, I think. Looks like Jin Shi maybe gets it. Both jungles are pathing Bot. Owner's doing red wolves. Uh, blue wolves, sorry, going into red probably. And he shield with the Q poke. See what I mean? They use their combat summoners aggressively to try and trade into them. Canyon fast level 3. Raptors wolves into Grump, leaves both buffs up. The owner's on 3 camps, but he's not level 3, obviously. He did wolves. Canyon was thinking about a bot dive. Commit, but I, I do agree. He it actually cancelled like his blue buff, I think, trying to run bot. Faker Oriana. It's been 11 years of that, that bad boy and that champ. That's only domestically. Ooh, Pace dashed in. Pace dashed in. Oh, he dodged the W slow. What a sidestep. Faker is not flinching there. We're trying to blow his flash, I think, Faker. Canyon. Doesn't Faker. flinch, testing nerves his nerves a bit. Zach's just using his demolish proc on the tower. And that'll stop when he gets bombies. Toby's doing well in this lane. This matchup can get really tough, but he's farming well. Oh no, flash. Lens has flash. He's dead here. Is he dead? The move speed. Canyon flash. He needs to hit the blast cone. Oh, he W'd it. Killed to Toby. Oh, that's bad for T1. First blood to Toby with red buff. That is Absolutely really bad for T1. Roam there from what a big roam from the Annie. So that, is that, is yes, that is scary. That is scary to play against. Chovy Corky is very consistent. Two grubs, Hex Slash over a Dim giveaway position. Owner sees owner, it though, so, so they know Poppy's top side. Nice not going to be too ah, Faker. On either side with the composition. I don't think he can really win this lane anymore. Uh, this guy's red buff. Champions here. I mean, he will be able to get the push, but though, you see what I mean? Picks up and that experience. This lane state, he's out of mana. Not much he can do now. Chovy is dodging every Q. It's crazy. Like, he's not getting hit by anything. Oh, Zeus, 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 Zeus. He's dead, actually. I think he's full dead. Does Keen have the damage? Oh, he played it well. Faker's dead! Oh, Jesus, that's flashing. Zeus solo kill top. You can't be doing that, Zeus. Genji, the momentum's in their favor. Drake over to Genji. First blood to Corky. Kill to Cassante solo. They're running this one. He won't have gotten one grubby. And they have a small bot CS lead. Oh, he didn't get the two blobs there. Oh, well played by Keen. Keen's locked in. He got Q on two blobs on both times, was clean. Pretty perfectly played. Uh oh. No flash faker. Hex flash on Poppy. He's going to look for it here on a Faker who does not have the flash, you remember, from the mid lane play in the 1v1 Faker. Big shockwave. The shockwave though, they don't Maybe they can turn the damage, this. Toby is looking for it. The big one is going to miss. I think Owner kills here. Going back in the bubble as well as Karia is here. Big kill for Owner. What a turn. Faker gets a double shockwave. Faker doesn't flinch. That's big. They're going to push out here. Chovy doesn't have TP up yet, so he'll lose a little bit of the wave. So Owner's recovered now in the game. He was behind. Now he's, now he's a bit back. Bot is still winning for T1. It's just Zeus and uh, Corky got first blood and Zeus is struggling a bit. Overall, pretty even-ish. If you factor in the fact that Bot's winning this hard. I think it should be... The game should not look like this for T1, though. T1 mid should be... They have static on Lucian now, so... Well, Canyon's gonna clear out their vision, though. Because Owner's on Grubbies. They're gonna get five... They're gonna get four Grubbies, sorry, but... They shouldn't be able to get Dove, right? They have Culling, Static. But actually, he's gonna get stopped from clearing the wave. He's gonna knock away Carrier. Oh, Carrier's still here. He's one shot, though. Absolutely one shot. Clear the wave. They can't redive, I think. Really good dive. Maybe they can redive, actually. Guma's just gonna have to proxy it a bit, maybe. No, they're walking back. Yeah, static, so he can one shot it. I mean, if Carrier gets hit by the knock, Lucian's dead. Guma never buys boots, he just doesn't buy them. Uh oh, Zeus dead again, maybe. Oh, he didn't get him over properly. Man, Keen is gapping Zeus really hard in this game. Drake's up in 30. Could be Infernal, Hextech Soul. Is it worth 
fighting yeah, ST1. They can get packaged for this one. So cool. Oh, he had magical footwear, that's why. <laughs> there it is. There's the package. Faker has TP, but Keen's moving. Xavius can TP in as well. Oh my god, T1 are gonna double TP for this? No. Not gonna contest. I think the correct call is not to fight that. Oh that is unlucky for T1. One. That is unlucky. T1 got a mountain to climb here. Because Genji's scaling is really good. He's blocking the rocket to stop him from being able to farm. Yeah, Genji so lane swap on, on, on Herald spawn or Grubby spawn. They always do it. Go for it as still does have jump. Got him low, but Zach should be able to heal up. I'm surprised through. Genji bot lane's not going mid on Trobi's base. Zeus has blue orb to try and so check if they're lane swapping. Maybe you just buy... And Blue Orb on Zach all the time, but I don't know. Do Looked like he spotted their lane swap with it. Genji's giving the Herald. Yeah, they don't have package. Champs the thing is, how's bot yeah, tier 1 health? Can they take bot tier 1, Genji? Yeah, I think they can. If uh, I thought Corky and Poppy were going to move down and take it, and Zeri takes over mid, and then Corky takes bot tier 1 base and TP's top, but I guess they're not doing that play. He has ult, I think. It's fine. Corky's actually able to contest the wave quite heavily, no? They have this Herald, and no one's taken a tower yet. Both of T1's side towers are quite low, though. Faker's, like, state is not that good right now. Maybe you can just push this in base. Oh, cancelled. Davis is dead again. Is he dead? Wow. Two solo kills by Keen. What a superstar. Zeus is getting absolutely embarrassed right now. What's he doing? I knew the Cassante ban was worth it. These motherfuckers, this guy is so good at Cassante. Really well played by Keen. The beauty of this play is they get first tower to Cassante and his reset timer is in time for the third Drake. Now Cassante bases, buys, comes out, runs towards Drake, 20 seconds, Chobi bases, gets package. I think they might be in trouble here, T1. A lot of trouble. Corky staying top. Maybe he wants to take one more wave, but is T1 not contesting Drake? They're just looking for the top dive. Keen has TP and Pace can cover this. They got Keen's TP. Guma doesn't flinch with the dash. Keen can take top tower in their face now. Zeus gets bot tier one. Overall, they got Cassante TP and they're trading side towers. Drake hasn't been started yet by Genji. He has cleanse. He oh, big, nice big chunk here for, for T1. So and you know, flash is big for them because now Faker TP's mid. Keen drops top tower, doesn't Annie take it. They herald mid and then there might be a dragon fight, but Annie needs the base. She has no wards, no help. So maybe T1 can stop this soul point. Faker's just driving it. Needs to be careful though. They're Poppy, they're Poppy. They're Poppy W on the drive. Big mistake by Faker. Huge mistake. That is game deciding mistake because they just they can't fight Drake now. The setup was perfect. No, that is a big mistake by Faker. They could have maybe even taken a mid tier one there. Why does he get in it? Why does he get in it? They're one dragon away from just automatically winning the game. Oh, Pace ulted there. Three minutes 40 till the next dragon. T1 need to get everything they can for this fight. Because it's going to be a massive Corky, massive Zeri package. It's going to be horrible. Genji's game state is perfect. Whoa. Chovy can just stand there and hit him. There, Lucian wins the long fight, so but can Lucian get IE before this Drake? They really want this mid tower here, T1. Yeah, but no. Genji's defense is good. Sure. Is be T1 They'll get it, but Kenyon's mid. here. Genji oh, they won't get it. They're scared. This one, as that will go they the got it. One. Minion got it. It's big. Over to the sky. Is T1 oh, looking for Baron? No shot that they're looking for Baron. Genji needs to calm down and not let T1 do their thing where they get really creative and do some wacky shit. Then it's either hold vision lines and not get sucked in. And they're doing well. They're paying a lot of respect here, Genji. Pushing waves, denying waves, let them overgroup. T1 always tries to try and dance around you. Just don't dance. I think I Lucian is he's so Guma. close hey, to that IE, isn't he? Does he get it for this Drake? One midwave, I think Guma has IE. I think he just gets it for this Drake, you know? I think he has it. T1 needs to not lose the game while Guma Yushi presses B right now. I think he is going to press B. Alright, Lucian's basing. He's going to buy Infinity Edge and there's 40 seconds on Soul. Can Guma Yushi single-handedly carry this game? Or is Zeus going to get caught and die again? He's going to have to flash, I think. Oh, Zeus, man, what are you doing? Oh, they could look for Baron, but it's also a throw when Drake's up in 20. T1 are gonna have to double TP mid here, I think. Faker's running top. They're not TPing in. Okay, they see him on midwave. 
There's one at least for the midway. All right, here it is. Jesus, take the wheel. Corky has three items package. The only, only way T1 win this fight is Gumayushi popping off. Okay. There's the engage. No flash on any, but no sums on. Guma is low. I think they've lost this fight now, T1. On the map, at they took Lucian Sums. And they have package. No in here. I mean, that, yeah, T1 can't get, get in. It's over. Right 5k. 4k. Poppy old missed. 3k. Oh, and, and package. Turn. Zeus wants Cork. Zeus wants the Corky. Oh, no. Guma's gonna die to pace, maybe. To go one v3. Oh, they're it's all so low. And yes, they're gonna get go Baron down. off that, I think, Gen G. But they have double TP. T1 deny the soul, but they're gonna be up against the Baron hold. Here comes the Baron. King? No Zeus, no TP. That Baron's gone. T1 has have to base and take that. They stopped the soul. The soul is. This motherfucker is confident, isn't he? Look at him. He wants more. He wants Keen is confident. Kasante really ban in game six. In yeah, true. Good call. All right. How much can Genji get off this Baron? A very common play like here would just be like um, okay, guys, mid to bot. Bro, Keen is level 16. He's a walking monster. Faker might die here. Faker's going to have to run. He has face rush. Oh, he has Comet, actually. Never mind. Faker's fucked. Oh, Canyon's caught. Knocks away owner, Faker's dead. Oh no, he flashed over. Faker lived. The game is scrappy. This isn't good for Gen G. They need to start playing for towers. They're bleeding bot waves and mid waves. They lost top tier one. They only have one minute 30 left to this Baron. Mid tier one should die. No matter what, this is going to die eventually. But they're only going to get a tier one off it. I think next wave they'll get it because Faker has to catch top. Lucian has to base. That tower's dead. Can Gen G play on a side wave for a bot tier two? Wait, T1 are staying to hold. The I think they're crazy to try and hold this. They are crazy to try this. Not a good idea. Poppy W's the Zach. What is Zeus doing? <laughs> He's a psychopath. Bro, Keen has never won an LCK title. And he deserves it after this game. 120 on Dragon. Mid tier 1, bot tier 2. They got it in the end. Can Lucian get LDR before this Drake? Look at, look at Guma. He's going to farm moves. He's going to farm everything. Chovy might have GA as well if he gives him red. Guma, I think, needs mid wave. And I think he has LDR. And I think Chovy needs mid wave. Or Crux. And he has GA. What does Faker have in base? I mean, at this point, just buy Zonyas or anything. The next fight doesn't. It's everything on the next fight. Faker, what you got? Double needless. Genji already has crazy setup. Look at this. He's going to have GA. He's going to base TP in. This is impossible for T1, I think. No chance. They have to hope for a steal, I think. The poppy ult. That's it. Game's over. I think the game's over. T1 saying now, play for Elder, maybe. I think they're saying play for Elder. Infernal Soul. That's not okay. Jesus, the damage Corky. is crazy. That's brain nerf Corky right there. Oh, oh right. my good Half god. Is gone. Infernal soul three item Corky. Play the game. Nice little dodge Jesus. Here on the Q3. That's all they've got. They have to dodge. They have to play dodgeball at this point because they don't have any other hope. And now he's gonna go in and immediately is just gonna get burned to shreds. But a lot of damage here. Not that Keen. bad to be honest. He's gonna Maybe die. A Maybe. Are being taken out oh, nice block by blocked. owner. Well, they got Zeri sums, and they held the tier two. Baron in thirty. I think if they if they lose Baron, Genji is gonna take at least double in him. At least. Baker gets top wave. He should have Rabadons after top wave. He should have Rabadons in base now. I think. But Baron's up. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't. You know. Maybe he needs one more wave. Maybe he needs one more wave. How much gold does he have? Oh my God, he's fifty gold off. They have vision on Baron. Genji might stop Baron here. Keen. Not great, they have Sweeper. Uh, Scryer, sorry. Has to be the one that puts in the damage because you, oh, you God. know for sure that Chovy will be doing it on the opposite side. They Faker has Rabadons in base now. Here with the wave. Oh, there's another big pull on They went for the knock on to Keen! He's dead! He's How is King down? They took down the raid boss! Guma knocked to Narnia. The 
T1 have to back off. They need to relax. They got a little bit overconfident there on the pick. They should take that and try and buy time. How the fuck did they kill Kasante? Is Gumayushi just ascending? There's the rabbit on and they're gonna force ban! They're gonna force it! They have 30 seconds! Are you sure about this? Are you sure? The rockets are missing! They're giving the Baron! Oh my god! Oh my god! They are grasping this game with a straw! They're holding on! I'm mind blown that they're holding on! They have Infernal Soul 5k gold lead Corky! What in the hell? They're misstepping. You know what this Baron does? It gives T1 time. Do you know what it gives them time for? To try to come down it gives them time for a chance. For and that chance is looking like good. Is that's a six item Zeri Lucian. Down, that's it. That's a three item Zeri. Four key. item Zeri. It's an elder around. fight. <laughs> it's an elder fight. <laughs> they need to be careful not to overconfident here. There's one minute on elder. The Corky is still. The Infernal Soul is still there. It's not gone. As what has Pace got in base? He must have a full LDR. Elder they have double GA. I don't blame them for itemizing the defensive. Pace They're getting so much value from the Infernal Soul, right? Oh my god. This fight, I do not envy any of these players to fight this. At 30 seconds, they've got the biggest fight of their, their year so far. I think a lot of pressure is on Guma here. If Guma mispositions, he will get one shot by this Corky Zeri. If he gets hit by a Poppy W on his dash, he will get one shot. If Mikhail's is mistimed by Carrier, after he's clear, anything mistimed, he is one shot. There it is. Oh, he dodged it! Mikhail's was perfect! Genji or Linden! Owner SGA! T1's defending well! Kumayushi reacted perfectly! But does it enough? Is it enough? Is it enough? It's not enough! Genji did it! He missed King! They did it! Genji did it! Faker's gonna try and proxy the wave, I think! They're not going Elder! Genji's gonna play for the end! Oh, the Gensel! Gonna get it! Yes, he knows. And wow. There it is. That sweeper just won them the game. This game. Did it? No, they're backing. They're not Faker dead. flashed okay. over the wall we the to turn. try and base in time. Owners up in five, but to get here, Faker has TP. Wait, Gen G's like not dream. getting... It's not even, it's, it's they're not, not even getting feasible. the end. They're gonna get the elder though, which is basically the end. Man, Guma stepped up just that little too far. Can T1 hold this? It ends up being I don't know. That's two minutes of Elder. Good news. No one has flash on Genji. Bad news. No one has flash on T1. Six item Corky, six item Zeri. They've got decent wave clear. They can shockwave this if they have to. I think Genji needs to get some thread on this top tier too. 130. That's three waves. That's a big top wave. That top tower is dead. Gen I think Gen G is going to force on this wave. Here, they should slowly take this tower so the next wave crashes with it. Right now. But it took us really T1 quick. So the waves aren't stacked. Maybe yeah, they will stack actually. Guma can culling. Faker might have to shockwave it. He kind of missed it. Culling for it. Oh, you got Owner maybe? Owner needs to run for his life. Keen is going. The Zinza ult is big. Pace can't flash forwards. They lose the inhib. They lose Minimib as well. They can't end. That's all they'll get. They're gonna get Baron as well though. They're gonna get Baron. Are they gonna get Baron? Yeah, they are. This series is unreal. The gold doesn't really matter. It's just Oriana's missing one item. Zeri sold Zerkers for steel caps. Can Gen G get this bot in with Baron? They should try. Chobi's gonna get package and TP in, I think. Or he's just gonna TP in. Oh boy, this is gonna be impossible. You can't hold this. You can't hold this. The cannon will kill the tower. Guma needs to culling the cannon. Here comes the wave. I think they're gonna have to drop tri triple inip. They're gonna have to drop it. Triple inip. No, it's over. You can't come back from triple inip. You can't come back from this. The towers are gonna bleed. Chobi just sent it. What is Chobi doing? Zeus has passive. Stop this one from ending. Owner's GA's towers down. Oh, Pays! What a finish.
What a series. Congrats to Keen. Four in a row for Genji. Chobi's just won four titles in a row domestically. Slowing down, and the same is true. Okay. Crazy. We've got two players now that now they start Yo, winning. Keen, my MVP really for that game. Two, they just keep winning. Chobi deserves back it. Chobi back played so back well. Chobi played so well. Ah, uh, Keen did it. Oh my God, is he crying? But Keen gets emotional here as he wins. He his won his first title. Finals. He's been around for so long. So deserved, bro. Keen, so my goat. Oh, T1. T1 fought really well. Really good series by T1 to fight back. Genji's topside is crazy. 